But fractions are OK. Fractions are our friends. First thing we do, group the first two terms. You guys sick of doing the first thing right? It's the same thing. Then what can we factor out a number? Is a equal to 1? No, a is not equal to 1. So we have to factor out. And then we're left with x squared minus 5x plus 5 equals 0. Right? In this case, we're going to take our middle term, divide it by 2, and square it. So you have um, negative 5 divided by 2 squared. Negative 5 divided by 2 does not divide into negative 5, so that's going to be a 25 over 4. We're going to add that and then subtract it outside. So therefore, we have 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4 plus 5 minus 25 over 4. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, remember you have to multiply that by 2, right? Since this one was being multiplied by 2, you had to multiply this one by 2. Does everybody see that? I just didn't color code it this time like I did last time. Anybody have any questions on that? That's hard, but everybody remember, forgets. Here, again, just do your b divided by 2. What was my b divided by 2? Negative 5 over 2. So I have 2 times x minus 5 halves squared. This 2 over 4 can be simplified to 1 half. So in reality, I have 5 minus 25 over 2. Put that over 1. Multiply to get common denominators. 10 over 2 minus 25 over 2, which is a negative 15 over 2. Then we do the same thing. We always undo addition and subtraction first. So I add 15 halves. It's a fraction, but that's OK. So I have 2 times x minus 5 halves squared equals 15 halves. If you have a fraction divided by a number, that's the same thing. Taking a fraction divided by a number is the same thing as multiplying it by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing by 2, I could just multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. Because any number multiplied by a reciprocal goes to 1. So we have x minus 5 halves squared equals 15 over 4. Multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Undo squaring by taking the square root. I can't take the square root of 15, but I can take the square root of 4. Remember, it's also plus or minus. So I have x minus 5 halves equals square root of 15 over 2. And then I just add the 5 halves. Remember, that's plus or minus. So my final answer is x equals 5 halves plus or minus the square root of 15 over 2. And actually, I'll just show you guys.